Don't say that word. So I got uh, via a trade with Boss Player Vinny. Thanks, buddy. A Bliss Rebuildable Atomizer from Elite Vapor, I believe. Fuck. Don't say that word. Sorry. Not prepared. EliteVaporWorks.com uh, It is uh, obviously a stainless steel rebuildable atomizer. It is a 303 food grade stainless steel 510 connection a Pyrex tank with a threaded wrapper. A 2 mil capacity. It is 20.5 millimeters by 48 millimeters and heavy as all get out because <laughs> I'm holding this up and it's straining my arm but uh, I'll give you a close-up look of it and let you know what I think I will tell you it took me three or four days to get this where it vaped well. But you have a rebuildable atomizer, it's going to vape as well as you actually build the coil. It's the way it is. So this is the Bliss up close and personal. Um, let's just say it is stainless steel it is crazy heavy like seriously crazy heavy it weighs more than the bolt with the 18650 battery in it it weighs more uh, if you're going to use this you want a sturdy mod to set it on because it being so much heavier the slightest is going to knock it over and it's going to crash hard. So I'm still looking for something. I wish I still had the wink the you know when it worked properly because that would have been perfect a big sturdy because this thing is heavy. I don't know how heavy it is. I might find out and let you know. Okay so the Bliss. It is a rebuildable atomizer. Let's look at it up close. Now if I'm going to show you this, and this will show you how why it's so heavy. This is solid stainless steel, and that is <laughs> the thickness of it is crazy. Uh, when I when I had decided to pay for a well built air quotes. Uh, rebuildable atomizer. I had narrowed it down to uh, the Bliss and the Cobra. Both had glass tanks. Both both had these uh, uh, multiple possibilities for configuration. And this camera is just being a dick. And it's not going to it has okay right now it's got one wick in it it's got three screws and three hole okay one filler so you could theoretically put any kind I've tried all of them I've tried dual wicks I've tried even silica wicks with putting the wick down inside it all works it's it's whatever floats your boat you're going to be able to do it. Uh, Cobra is that as well. Glass tank. This one had the advantage of um, to get it off. had the advantage of this action. Of course it's on there too tight. There it goes. It has this stainless steel encasement threaded ridiculously long 
over the glass tank. So I thought, ooh, even if I break it or drop it, this will save it. Um, I don't know if you can see this, but here's the, the one thing that bothers me about this. I'm just going to stick my finger in there so you can actually see that this thing is leaking like a sieve. Yes, this is the point part where you say $140 and it leaks. Yes, it does. Okay. Um, I'm told that this is version 1 because I've seen people and have said uh, they have version 2. So I'm assuming in version 2 they have addressed the leaking issue. Um, I think as far as I can tell, different O-rings, because the one I've seen with version 2 uh, had orange O-rings. So I will investigate that. Um, again, re at this point, really happy I didn't pay $140 for this, okay? Uh, so, like I was saying, I had narrowed it down to two. Uh, I'm not one of those people that's going to pay a ridiculous amount of money and buy everything out there. Um, very early on in my vaping history, I decided I would not pay more than $100 for any one item. And I almost broke that rule with this. Because honestly, every one of the recommended uh, well-built atomizers uh, were over $100. So I'd resigned myself to the fact I was going to pay more than $100 for one. Uh, however, as luck would have it, as I was debating over these two, boss player Vinny, who if you know anything about mods at all, <laughs> you would know he's got every single one of them in spades. Um, he was interested in my little Olivia, my uh, Touchwood Mini. And we traded. So I think I paid $35 and the Olivia for this. So very easy to build. Uh, the screws are nice and decently, a decent size. You don't get any of that crazy hex key thing. Uh, the issue that I'm having is the leaking. Everybody says, oh, well, I, I mean, if you could see this, the holes in this thing are huge. And there's uh, two empty when you have one one wick. So there's, I'm going to show you. Of course, I'm not going to do it now. There we go. So, yeah, I can just pour it out. So it gets down inside here and ends up leaking out the holes. All kinds of funness. I can't reach that. My rag here. So, all kinds of funness with this. Uh, it, it took me a while to get it vaping right. I'm thinking he never actually used this because the very, the first couple of tanks had that motor oil or machine oil taste. So I'm thinking Vinny never even tried this thing. Um, he just bought it. <laughs> so, uh, the build on it, it is well built. It is heavy as hell. Uh, pretty much any drip tip is going to fit in the top of it. It's going to vape as well as your ability to build the coil. It wicks well, too well, because uh, because of those holes. I'm thinking there must be a way to plug them so that everybody says, oh, well, you know, it won't leak if you don't set it down. Well, I don't know about you, but my mouth is at a 45 or at least 45 degree angle or not like I vape it probably a 90 degree angle. Um, so that's how it's leaking for me. As soon as I tip it to vape it, 
if it's full, it's leaking out. Now, I'm very happy I did not pay $140 because I would be pissed if I had. Um, it's it's heavy. I mean, it could probably last forever, but you know what? Still, I don't see. I don't see. I don't know how much stainless steel costs, but I'm not feeling $140. But it is solidly built. But for $140, it should not leak. And this one does. Now, how does it vape? It vapes as well as you build the coil. Uh, so I guess that's it. Uh, not feeling the $140, but thankfully I didn't pay that. And I'm okay with losing Olivia because Minnie will take good care of her. So there she is, the Bliss. I'll put the link for where you can pick one of these up. An upside for this one, you can actually purchase one whenever you want. Go to the site, click on buy. There is no list. There is no waiting in line like an iPhone 5 freak. Uh, there is no refresh the room 1,600,000 times and giving up your day job for it. Um, it looks good. If we can resolve the leaking issue with O-rings, it uh, I will be happy with it. One final note, does it vape better than any of the other uh, rebuildable atomizers I have? No. Uh, does it look better? Yes. Does it vape better? No. These things all vape. The vape on all of them depend on your ability to build the, the wick and the wire. So keep it in mind. I, I know the, the fan base out there is to buy the most expensive thing because, oh, you know, it must have been made by blind nuns or Irish nuns or something. But honestly, you really... If I had to pick one rebuildable atomizer right now, Desert Island, oh, can only take one. It would be the cheapy little Phoenix. Gives an awesome vape. And once you get past the tiny little screws, uh, you're golden. So, but that's just me. Your results will vary. Show me Godzilla Award! Okay.